गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट जी ऑन एस चेक पॉइंट ऑफ सेल साइकिल एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज टू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन हाउ सेल साइकिल ऑकर्स वी हैव सीन सेल साइकिल हैज टू मेन फेजेस इंटरफेस एंड एम फेज Interface consists of G1, S, and G2 phase. Now we will see how checkpoints work in cell cycle. So basically, a checkpoint is a stage in cell cycle at which the cell decides whether to proceed or halt. There are four checkpoints in a cell cycle, such as G1, S checkpoint. intra s checkpoint g2 checkpoint and spindle assembly checkpoint today we will talk about the first one g1 s checkpoint so basically this checkpoint acts on the transition from g1 to s phase and it checks whether any type of dna damage is present or not before initiating dna replication in s phase so the complex of cyclin e and cdk2 is responsible to proceed into s phase these two are two proteins so there are two ways p53 dependent and p53 independent p53 dependent now if there is no any dna damage p53 protein remains in an unphosphorylated state in cell mdm2 protein binds these unphosphorylated p53 and degrades it cyclin e and cdk2 bind each other and the cycle moves forward if any type of dna damage is present atm protein is activated atm protein phosphorylates chk2 this chk2 protein is now phosphorylated and it will phosphorylate p53 protein phosphorylated p53 protein is a transcription factor so it binds dna and induces the synthesis of p21 protein p21 is a cdk inhibitor and it binds to cdk2 protein and inactivates the cdk2 cyclin e complex hence cell cycle does not proceed toward s phase p53 independent if there is no dna damage cdc25 protein remains activated in cell and it degrades the inhibitory kinase from cdk2 hence cyclin e and cdk2 are free to bind each other and the cycle moves forward if there is a single stranded break in dna atar protein is activated and it phosphorylates chk1 protein if there is a double stranded break in dna atm protein is activated and it phosphorylates chk2 protein phosphorylated chk1 and chk2 proteins act on cdc25 and make it phosphorylated phosphorylated cdc25 is degraded hence inhibitory kinase is not degraded which leads to the degradation of cdk2 and cell cycle does not proceed toward s phase 
So this is all about today's lecture. Hope you have enjoyed the session. Thank you.